Jazz will never forget! And he won't ever be able to get over you! Well, it sure took you long enough. Reno! What a relief. I'm glad to see that you all got back here safely. it, Reto? Did someone get hurt or something on your way here? Actually... Just terrible. I can hardly believe it. Poor Claves. She must have been struggling with her conscience for a long time because of what she was doing. What about the others? Where are they? Viola went home to set her goats free. After that, she's gonna head for Salsa's house. We weren't sure, but we thought you'd all probably be heading over to Salsa's place. And what about Jazz and Falsetto? Well, actually... Ever since we learned about Clavace's death, we kind of haven't been able to find Falsetto anywhere. She's gone missing? Yeah. I mean, we tried looking for her all over the place, but she's just nowhere to be found. I don't know. Maybe she feels like she's somehow responsible for Clavace's death. Poor Falsetto. Anyway, when we couldn't find her, Jazz headed for Baroque Castle. He said he needed to talk to someone there. At the castle? I suppose that would most likely be Prince Crescendo. We must have just missed his arrival. Who's Prince Crescendo? Oh, we were fished out of the water by a ship from Baroque. It was this really cool ship, and guess who the captain was? The Prince of Baroque himself! Are you kidding me? While we were all miserable, trudging through swamps and poisonous forests, you guys were off having fun on a pleasure cruise? Don't think it was all fun and games, Reto. We had a pretty rough time ourselves, you know. We even had to fight with pirates. Isn't that right, Frederick? Yes. And after the fighting, the prince entrusted us with a message he wanted us to deliver to Jazz. I never would have figured Jazz was the type to have a prince for a friend. But hey, at least this clears up one thing. I guess we know where we're headed to next. Oh, hey, by the way, Beat, where did Polka end up? <laughs> I figured you'd be wondering about her. Well, of course. She's a friend. Polka said that she wanted to make a quick stop in Tenuto so that she could look in on her mother. Okay, then that means we're gonna have to go there and bring her back. Hold on a minute, Reto. We all agreed that we were gonna meet back here in Retardando. Don't worry, she'll show up here before too long. So instead, why don't we give Frederick a tour of the town while we wait for everyone else to show up? Or maybe there's some reason that you just gotta go see Polka right this very minute, huh? I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Fine, you want a tour guide? Then you got one. Come on, let's get going. Hey, what's going on? Why are all these people here? Huh? Did something happen? 
Someone said they heard a strange voice coming from underneath the church. What? Underneath it? Does the church have a basement? Retardando used to get attacked by pirates all the time. They built an underground shelter so they'd have some place to hide in case it happened. Oh, I see. This church is on high ground, and it's quite far from the shore. That makes it an ideal spot for that kind of shelter. Oh, how creepy! The shelter must be infested with some sort of strange creatures! After all, it hasn't been used in ages! No, I'm sure it must be ghosts. The souls of the people who were killed by the pirates have come back to haunt this place. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yeah, right. Give me a break already. I'm sure it's no big deal. It's probably just some rats scratching around or something. Hey! It's you two! Huh? Uh-oh! I know them! These are the brats who've been stealing my bread! What? You're a couple of petty thieves? No, wait! There was a reason we were... Perfect! You have experience with this kind of thing, then! Go investigate that noise! I agree with her! That's right! Since you've done nothing but go around causing trouble for this city, you need to make up for it somehow! You're used to dangerous jobs like this. This doesn't look good. No, Reddle, it'll be okay. Let's just agree to do it. We can always come up with some way out of it later. Yeah, you're right. That's a good idea. Well, what's it gonna be? All right, all right, calm down. We'll check it out. Just hold on for one minute. It's a good thing Polka's not here, huh? She'd have definitely found out about all the bad things we've been doing. Ow! There you are, Allegretto! How are you doing? Hey, Salsa! You sound the same as always. When I asked Salsa where everyone was, she said that you were all heading for Retardando. So we came to join you. But then, how'd you know that we were in here? Easy. We saw you just as you were going inside. Well, in that case, perhaps you could all help us out a little bit. Help you? With what? What are you guys trying to do? We're supposed to get rid of the ghosts underneath this place. Hm, it's pretty stupid. What? Ghosts? But ghosts are scary! I really hate ghosts! Ah, so that's why there were so many people standing around outside the church. I'll see you guys later then. Thanks! Huh? Where are you going now, Riddle? Well, with this many talented people helping out, you don't really need me, do you? That's not fair, Riddle. You can't push all the work on us and then just leave. Ah, I know what it is. He's scared of ghosts, so he's running away. Yep, that's right. I've been keeping it a secret, but I'm actually completely terrified of ghosts. See ya, Beat. And hey, good luck. Hey, wait! Excuse me, Allegretto, but what are you going to do now? Once you guys finish up here, we'll be getting on the first ship headed for Baroque tomorrow morning. They opened up the shipping lanes now that the pirates have stopped attacking ships. And as for right now, I'm gonna go get Polka. That way, tomorrow morning, we can all meet up in the harbor. Don't be late. See ya! Hey, that's so not fair! I don't care whether it's ghosts or something else. I don't have time to waste on stuff like that. Okay, it's time to go and get Polka. What 
we have here? Oh, it's just a rock. It has a really weird shape to it, though. I guess it must have washed up on shore. I'm not much of a rock collector, but it really is strange looking. Hmm. Maybe I'll show it off to Salsa later. Well, I'd better hurry up or it's gonna get dark. Stupid Riddle. Let's just concentrate on what we need to do and get going. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's get this over with. Oh, by the way, are you planning on joining our Endeavor March? Yes, I'll do my best not to get in the way. I hope that's all right. Bringing her along with us is much safer than leaving her in a go-go forest alone. Well, it's good to have you along. At least you're a lot more reliable than Reto. I can't believe he took off and left the work to us. Who knows? Maybe he really was scared of ghosts. <laughs> The crucial person in all this wasn't the guardian of a go-go forest after all. And to think we almost killed that girl. We're lucky that Fugue and Tuba were so incompetent at their assignments. Or maybe I should say they performed their jobs perfectly. The Agogos only glowed when they were around that girl. If we are to get a hold of them, we'll need to find some way to lure the girl to us. Hmm. In any case, it appears she can use magic, which means that she doesn't have very much time left to live. Rondo, I want you to bring her to me. And you had better do it before she dies. Understood. Locating the trail of one little girl should not be too difficult if I ask in retardando. It looks like that's our ghost. So this is what's been living down here. What? That's it? If it's not a ghost, then it's no problem at all. Dare to bear your fangs? Now that's how it's supposed to be! Let us rejoice for now. I'm getting stronger and stronger! Maybe it's time to upgrade.
Allegretto. Hey, I came to get you, Polka. Oh, thank you. Where are the others? Ah, uh, don't worry about those guys. I left them with a really important job to do back in Retardondo. We're gonna be heading off to Baroque on the first ship that sails tomorrow morning. So this is what my town looks like from far away, huh? Yes. Wow. From way up here, it actually looks really beautiful. Oh? Yeah, when you're down there, it's all cluttered and noisy, and the streets are dirty. The reality isn't nearly as peaceful. Oh, I see. But I guess this is how you see it all the time, huh? Wow. I gotta admit, it's not too shabby. It's strange. I seem to remember the view being much more beautiful when I was younger, even though there weren't nearly as many lights then as there are now. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh yeah, of course. I know I used to look prettier. You do? Take a look at the sky. Oh! Back when the lights from the town weren't so bright, I bet you could see way more stars. As the town got brighter and you could see fewer and fewer stars, maybe that's when the view started to get a little less beautiful. The stars... Yes, you're right. I think that must be what it is. Hey, by the way, Polka. How are you... Uh, you know, how's your health and all? I mean, are you feeling okay these days? I'm fine. I enjoy myself so much when I'm with all of you. Sometimes I even forget I have this illness. You know... I've been thinking about it a lot, and if I couldn't use magic, I don't think I would have ever felt this desire to go out and help other people like this. If that had been the case, I would have never set out on this journey, and I probably would have never had the chance to meet you. Y you really think so? I know so. That's why I'm so grateful to have been given these powers. What's the matter? I mean, it's fine and all to want to do things for others, but... Polka, come on. Shouldn't you really be thinking a little bit more about yourself? What? You know, don't be afraid to speak up about the things you want to do and the places you want to see. But I'm fine, Allegretto. Being able to travel around with all of you, that's enough for me. Why do you say things like that? You may not have that much time left to live! I'm sorry, I just... No, it's okay. This is all so frustrating. More than anything, I don't want to let you die. What the heck can I do? If I knew, I would do it. I'm so sorry. What for? Well, I... I had no idea you'd been worrying about me this much. But... For some reason, knowing that... Actually makes me feel kind of happy. I should just jump off this cliff right now. Then maybe a new life would be waiting for me. A life without sickness and fear. No! Wait, Polka, don't! What's the matter, Allegretto? You look so shaken. 
Did you think I'd really jump off? Even if I don't have long to live, I'm not going to do something as stupid as that. But thank you anyway for wanting to stop me from doing it. Polka, I... All right. How about I have my special rock make the jump for me? It can go in my place. Please, let it go all the way to the sea. <sighs> what did you throw? My special treasure. It's just a rock with a strange shape. But it's the perfect thing to take my place, don't you think? Oh, it was just a rock? That was your treasure? Actually, that reminds me. I found a rock with a weird shape today at the shore by Retardando. Here. Huh? Keep it. Hold on to this one in place of the one you threw away. Besides, I'm sure this one is much more unusual. Look how weird the shape is. But, um, don't throw this one away, okay? After all, it's the first gift I've ever given to a girl. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning in the harbor. Don't be late getting to the ship. What does this mean? Could it really just be a coincidence? I can't believe there are two rocks like this with the same strange shape. No, this is definitely the exact same one. It's been mine forever. There's no way I could be wrong about it. The weight, the feel, everything is identical. That means that Allegretto somehow picked it up on the beach before I threw it away. That rock wasn't my treasure because it was unusual. It was my treasure because I received it from someone I love. And now, Allegretto's given me a rock that has the exact same shape. Does that mean... A treasure that I received from someone I loved. A treasure that was from Allegretto.
<laughs> now this is traveling in style. Yeah, it's definitely way better than falling in a river. You're not kidding. No way I'm doing that again. Hey! Polka! Allegretto! Well, what have we here? I see the two of you have become awfully friendly all of a sudden. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I see. I guess sticking us with all the dirty work in Retardondo worked out pretty well for you. What does she mean, all the dirty work? Uh, listen, instead of dwelling on the past, it'd be more constructive to think about our next move. Yes, of course. Well, he does have a point there. I suppose. I, for one, plan on joining up with Andantino. Yeah, I want to help Jazz fight, too. I don't care if Crescendo is a prince. I think Baroque's being really irresponsible about all this. But Prince Crescendo is only doing what he thinks will avoid a dangerous war. Well, that might be a noble idea and all. But wishful thinking isn't going to help the people who are suffering from the effects of mineral powder. Exactly. Hey, you never know, though. Jazz might have already been able to work out something by talking with the Prince. I have to do it. For everyone. Sometimes it can be hard to do something that'll help other people can't do. I mean, how are you supposed to know that what you do will make a difference? How can we ever know? is truly right. It's strange. Even though this is my dream, I no longer have any idea what's going to happen next. What could it all mean? Oh, forget this. I'm in last place again. What are you talking about, Viola? That's not true. You're in third place. He's right, you know. Third place is a bronze medal. Not bad at all. Hey, are you two trying to make me angry? I'm in third place out of three players. You can't tell me that deserves a bronze medal. No, we didn't mean it like that. Sosa, come on. Say something to her. Yeah, Beat's right. Without you, old lady, we wouldn't... What? Hey! Oh, oops. Without you playing sweet and kind Lady Viola, the game wouldn't be any fun at all. Hmm. Since when do you two get along so well with each other? Well, whatever. Anyway, I'll play again later if I'm in the mood. Great. Nice job, Salsa. You could have at least let Viola beat you a couple of times. Now she got mad and left. What about you? You could have lost a few, too. If she keeps getting bronze medals the whole time, the old lady might decide not to play with us. <sighs> it's already been a whole week since we arrived in Baroque. I'm so bored. What in the world could Jazz and the Captain possibly be talking about anyway? You can say that again. I'm tired of sitting around. If we wait for Waltz to make a move, it'll be too late. Too many have already lost their lives to that mineral powder. If we don't eliminate the source of the powder, we can never hope to resolve this. War is nothing more than a battle of egos. A desire to surpass your adversary. And as long as both sides feel that way, this clash will just continue on indefinitely. It's simply not worth it. 
By putting so much effort into a never-ending battle, we all lose sight of the things that really matter. Eventually, the reason for the conflict is forgotten, replaced by the challenge of battle. The battle for power. You may still think you are fighting against your opponent. But at some point, it's no longer about who wins or loses. It's a power struggle. A childish fight between adults who should know better. It's just embarrassing. Listen, when you eliminate all the other possibilities, you cannot escape the truth that remains, no matter how difficult it may be to accept. I let myself believe in something that wasn't true, that Claves wasn't a spy for Forte. Looking back, I let myself believe what I wanted to be true without realizing it. I know that my weakness was the very thing that led to her death. Maybe in some way, I was trying to make up for a lack of faith in myself by believing in Claves. Is what you're doing any different? Crescendo, please. I don't want to watch you make the same mistake that I did. I already know. Huh? I realized it a long time ago. That a Forte spy had infiltrated my inner circle and was hiding very close to me. What? A spy? Who is it? Jazz, my friend. Could you please give me some time alone to think? I want to find the best answer. Serenade. It doesn't matter to me whose side you're really on. In fact, if there's one thing I'm sure of, it's that the things you've said to me are absolutely true. I always knew that you were connected to Count Waltz. I assumed you were assigned the role of preventing Baroque and me from attacking Forte first. An attack from Baroque would be a problem for Forte, so Count Walt sent you to me as insurance. But from a different perspective, it also means that right now we have the power to defeat Forte. The more you rejected the notion of war, the more my suspicions were confirmed. Serenade, and I understand that this is not the real reason why you oppose this war. There are absolutely no arguments that I can use against you. Once I realized that, I could no longer see aiding Andantino as a just course of action. No. A rebellion no longer serves us any purpose. To avert this war, we have to find a new solution. Well, wouldn't you agree, Serenade?
Polka, do you believe in good luck charms? Yes, I tend to take them too seriously. Okay, then I'll teach you a good one. Hold your fingers out like this. Like this? Yeah, this charm works really well, and it's easy to do, too. Great, what do I do? Just hold your hand like this, in front of the person that you love. If you do that, the charm's supposed to make them fall in love with you, too. Easy, huh? That's it? Really? Really. And you can see the results right away. Hey, how about giving it a try next time you see Allegretto? Oh, Viola, please, don't tease me like that. Well, Jazz, is your meeting thing finally over? Not yet. It's an important decision. I don't think it's something he can decide on quite that easily. He's going to think about it alone. It seems like it's going to take him a little while. So, let's spend the day exploring Baroque Castle tomorrow, all right? By the way, I don't think I've ever heard of that charm before. Well, yeah. Of course you haven't heard of it. Something I thought up just now. Maybe I should patent it. Don't joke around with her too much, Viola. Don't worry about it. Of course the charm won't work. I was just trying to give her a little courage. Watching those two together is making me crazy. Well, don't go overboard. I'm the one who really needs courage. What about you? What? Do you have someone special like that too, Viola? Don't be silly. Of course I do. He's with me all the time. Argo, come here! Falsetto. <sighs> well, looks like I'm third out of three players. I'm the bronze medal winner again. Are you here because you want to play some more? Wow, this is certainly a surprise. Yeah, I figured you'd got mad and left, Viola. You know, because you kept losing to us all the time. Nah, it's okay. I kind of realized something. Bronze medals suit me. Besides, today's the last day we'll be able to relax. Jazz just told me. We're heading out tomorrow. Now, hurry up and deal the cards. Whoa, she's scaring me. Me too. Maybe she's got some kind of super secret strategy worked out. I'm starting to get nervous. You know, guys, bronze medals aren't that bad after all. They're kind of nice. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Prince Crescendo wants some time alone so he can plot the best course of action for Baroque. I suppose it's going to take a little while for him to reach a decision. In the meantime, why don't we take a walk around Baroque?
everyone. I think I saw someone go in that door just now. Really? Where? I didn't see anyone going anywhere, Polka. Yeah, I really doubt that there's anyone around here. Are you sure? Oh, I could have sworn. It looked like it was a woman. Just a dead end. See? I told you you were just seeing things. But I'm sure I saw someone. She was right there, going in the entrance. Incredible. Here you all are. You really did come to Baroque. Huh. Looks like what I learned in Retardando was true after all. Hey, she was right. There really is someone here besides us. Yeah, I guess this is who Polka saw at the entrance earlier. I, I don't know. She doesn't seem like the same person to me. Listen carefully. I have business with that girl. If you all do precisely as I say, I won't harm the rest of you. Understand? Don't make a move! <gasps> Falsetto! Hi, guys. I'm sorry I worried all of you. It's just that I realize that I'll never be able to compete with Claves now. No matter how fast I run, I can never catch up. I'll only just become more and more bitter, and she'll always have a smile on her face. That was all I could think about, and before I knew it, I had run away. But now... I may have this one chance to catch up! One way. One possible way of standing on equal footing with Claves. Even now, after she's gone on to the Great Unknown. And the way I can do it... ...is by DEFEATING YOU! I am not going to run anymore! Not bad. I'm so impressed you were able to figure out I was the one who killed her. Perhaps we should have had you ferret out information about Andantino. Actually, it's not too late. What do you think? Would you like to take the place of Claves? You could work with us. Think about it. Andantino's leader is about to die. No one will ever find out that you're a spy. <laughs> Despicable people like you, that tragedies like what happened to Claves occur in the first place. It's unforgivable. The way people like you can use and discard feelings without so much as a second thought! And now you're gonna pay for it! So, all the lost sheep have flocked together. 
I promise you, I will not be defeated. Grand Venom! Are you catching on yet? I swear to shoulder the burden of this sword. Right. Jazz.